Well, the Tower of London represents to me, I think, all that's best about British history. Um, to just think that this tower was first built in the 11th century and is the most popular visitor attraction in London today, I think it really rather sums it up that the Tower of London represents the best of British history and really represents what's made this country as great as it is. Well, I first visited uh, the Tower of London, I suppose like all schoolboys, when I was a schoolboy and found it absolutely fascinating. But in more recent years, um, I was fortunate enough when um, Field Marshal the Lord Inge became the 157th Constable to be one of the supporters uh, at his installation and stood on parade behind him. So I've had a sneak preview of the installation by being part of it, I think it was 13 years ago, quite some time ago. Of course, the, the tower is still a working place as far as the army today is concerned. I mean, there is a detachment of ceremonial troops who guard the tower, who have the very important function of guarding the crown jewels, and of course carry out the world-famous ceremony of the keys at 10 o'clock each night. Um, my own son, who served for five years in the Grenadier Guards, has done the ceremony of the keys many times, and he said it was a great honour and a great privilege, slightly scary at times to do it, but um, no, it's a very much a working place, and therefore has a very special place in the life of the British Army today. Well, the Yeoman Warders, the Beef Eaters as they're popularly known, of course are all wonderful ex-soldiers themselves. Um, one of them, Yeoman Warder Kenny McGrath, was in my regiment, and the previous Raven Master, Derek Coyle, was one of my old platoon sergeants. So these are soldiers through and through, and once a soldier, always a soldier, you just get a little bit older. It's rather like the, uh, the pensioners in the Royal Hospital. Um, they're soldiers through and through, and um, you just go a little bit older, but the same comradeship and soldierly bearing and soldierly skills still stays there. And I see that in the Yeoman Warders as I walk around the as I walk around the town and see them carrying out their duties. Smart, efficient, just like the senior non-commissioned officers they were, and in their heart of hearts still are. Well, filling Wellington's boots will be a huge challenge. Of course, the Iron Duke uh, was the constable for 26 years. My term is, is only five years, so I'll have to work pretty hard to try and achieve what he achieved in five years, and he had 26 years uh, to do it. But um, it'll be a great challenge, it'll be great fun. Um, I think he left his mark in many ways in the tower by filling in the moat, which was a pretty putrid uh, ditch up at that point for building the Waterloo block, the Waterloo barracks as well. So the Iron Duke certainly made his mark as a very famous and well-known constable. Um, I'll do my best to do my bit. Uh, to uh, be an effective 159th constable, but um, filling his boots will be quite difficult to do. Well, I think the significance of the tower is that William the Conqueror, who, who founded it, decided that he needed to hold London, and therefore he needed to build a fortress, which has become the Tower of London, here on the River Thames, to control the capital city, to control the heart of the country that he'd conquered. And I think that really sums up why the tower is so important why it's been so important through history and why it remains so important today. And of course it's particularly important because Her Majesty places her crown jewels here and it's our responsibility to look after them. So the symbol of power and importance of this country is very much still vested in Her Majesty's palace, fortress and Tower of London. I think the real role of the constable in the 21st century, like so many of the ceremonial roles that play a really important part in the fabric of our nation, is to just be part of that fabric. Um, why do we have ceremonial guards outside Buckingham Palace? Why do we have state opening of Parliament? All these symbolise important things, important parts of our unwritten constitution. And as Constable, I'm very conscious that I'm the Queen's representative in the Tower. The Tower represents uh, an important part of the history and sense of power of the monarch uh, in the capital. As we said before, we have the crown jewels here. So I think there is an important historic and ceremonial function that the constable carries out. And, okay, um, you could easily take it away, but once you've uninvented something, once you've done away with something, then you've really lost something. So I think to continue these traditions, and I'm sure my successor as the 160th constable will feel very much the same. We're a part of a sense of ongoing history. I think that's how it should be. Well, I'll take it as a great honour when I'm given the gold and ceremonial keys I've got a pretty bad track record with keeping keys, but at least as far as that evening is concerned, there'll be lots of people watching. So if I put them in a pocket, everyone should know where they are. 
Yes, um, I do struggle with car keys. And I have to say that today, coming up to London, I couldn't find the keys to the constable's flat for a while. But I did. So I'm hoping that everyone's going to help me look after these keys, especially the ceremonial ones on the 7th of October for the installation. My favourite tipple is I do like a glass of wine, so I should look forward to Constable Studios, but um, it, it's a glass of whiskey is what I need um, in the evening. Um, whiskey with some soda before dinner and just a little drop of water after dinner. Um, concentrates the mind, keeps the mind going, and um, that's my favourite tipple. Well, when it comes to the installation next month, uh, yes, of course, I will be concentrating on making sure that I do the right thing. I'll be keeping quite a sharp eye out to make sure everybody else does the right thing. So there'll be a little bit of nervousness, but I think it would be a shame if one didn't enjoy the evening as well. So I'm certainly determined to enjoy it, but also we'll keep a beady eye uh, on everything to make sure we do it in the proper fashion.